report the news of bad things happening? Well, the stuff that is being reported on the news tends not to be the kind of stuff that we need to know about in order to be outraged. Climate change is one of the great tests of journalism. There was the New York Times headline about uh, the first time that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere reached 400 uh, parts per million, which the Times said that carbon dioxide had reached a level not seen in millions of years. Yeah. My jaw fell. You would think that that would cause a worldwide stir. And instead, it was a one-day story. On to the next thing. As you know, President Obama recently made a major speech in which he announced a new plan to tackle climate change. All three cable networks turned to the president's speech, but then they cut away from it well before it was intended to end. Uh, Fox News cut away, saying the remarks could be streamed online, and then they turned to a guest critical of the president. The planet is warming, and human activity is contributing to it. But that is not the full story. <laughs> we're going to stream the remainder of the president's remarks live on foxnews.com, and in the meantime, we'll be, we're joined now with some reaction. Uh, Chris Horner is the senior fellow at the Center for Energy and Environment at the Competitive uh, Enterprise Institute and the author of the book Red Hot Lies. Fox's host, Megyn Kelly, wondered aloud about whether the country even needed to tackle the problem. And CNN's Wolf Blitzer cut in soon after. All right, so the president uh, making uh, a major, major address on climate change. I want to bring in Jim Acosta. And the uh, president's got some uh, important news he's about to release. And then Wolf continued to talk well, Jim, over the president's Hunter. remarks. What do you make of that? The meta message is more interesting to journalism than the message itself. People, the meta message? The meta message is, here's grist for combat between different factions. How is it going to play out? Rather than the message, which is, here's what's happening to our climate. Here's what we have to do to prevent it. That stuff risks being boring, but combat is never boring. What they don't know how to do is to talk about, well, what are our options here, America? Uh, how do we mitigate the effects of climate change? Instead, they're refighting all these old battles, and that kind of combat is what they can do. The Sunday talk shows did something else, which is to completely ignore it. I mean, they probably had John McCain and Lindsey Graham on for the 27th time each, instead of dealing with what was the most important speech about climate change ever given by a sitting president. And Think Progress, the uh, progressive website, published an infographic which pointed out that, as you say, Sunday's news shows ignored Obama's climate plan, late night comedy shows picked up the slack. The Daily Show gave three minutes and 29 seconds to the president. The Late Show gave one minute, 33 seconds. The Tonight Show gave one minute and two seconds. Meet the Press, zero seconds. Fox News, zero seconds. ABC This Week, zero seconds. Face the Nation, zero seconds. State of the Union on CNN, zero seconds. Yeah, but I bet they kept us informed about the phony IRS scandal. They have stuff which they think pushes the buttons that makes people emotional and angry, and they just find climate change a snooze. They find guns a snooze. Look at what happened with Sandy Hook. Look at what happened with Hurricane Sandy and climate change. We are capable of turning away because we get bored with one thing and need the, the next. At the time.